Sexy Sims, and we are back with more Nor 9. And in the last part, we got to the end of the prologue with Serata, and we got to choose which one of the girls we were going to be. And we're being no name. I think her name's Kohara. Koharu? So, something like that. I think it's Kohara. Anyway. Anyway, we're her. She doesn't remember her name, but we'll figure it out eventually. It's in the guide. We chose her primarily because... Um, God, why can't I remember their names yet? Anyway, the one girl with the purple hair, two of the boys on her list are the don't do them till the end. And like, we tried to get the least spoilery. She has the two guys who were sort of the least spoilery. Um, Masamune, I believe, is closer to the spoilery end, but I'm pretty sure we can try to avoid getting him. We'll just try to make our... It depends. It depends how the choices are in this game. If it's like, who do I go with? Well, we obviously don't go with Masamune because... He's spoilery, right? But if it's like, hmm, do I choose red, pink, or blue? And you're like, fuck, I don't know. You know what I mean? Then we'll just, whatever happens, happens. So um, I just figured she had more options of being less spoilery. So. Plus, we got to give this bitch a name. Like, I don't know. Anyway. So here we are. We just started into her path. So now I guess we'll be her, except for right now. Unfortunately, because she's all question marks. I don't know. I'm assuming this is not her, because... Obviously, it seems pretty obvious, but it's going to be really confusing. It's kind of like when they do the text and they put it all up here and they're like, question. And you're like, wait, is that me? Is that that? Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, we've done that in other games where they're like, here's a line, line that someone says. And you're like, okay, I know that's them. And then this is supposed to be us. And then there's two lines. You're like, wait, wait, wait. And you get confused because they put a gap between it. And you think it's them, you, them, you, them, you. But it's them, them. And then you, and you're like, fuck my life. You know, because we don't have the voice acting on. They just didn't plan these games for people like me who like to bastardize the voices and ruin life to ruin lives for everyone. I mean, <sighs> anyway, I don't know if this is a man or a woman speaking, so I'm just going to read it kind of normal. It'll be the year you turn 17. And that's spring, in fact. Oh, that's right. You don't know how to count on count or track time yet, do you? Uh, I've got it. It'll be the time when this uniform fits you properly. Right now, it's much too big for you. But when it fits you just right, someone will come to get you. Then, on that day... Chapter 1 of the Lolly Girl Route. Oh, yeah. Makoto. Why are you looking at me like that? Please tell me that you're not wasting your time worrying over me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. Is he in her route? I think he's in her route, and I'm going to love it so much. Yes, because he's super spoilery in her route. Look at the way... Yeah, oh! I'm going to love that so much because she seems very, like, melodramatic. and oh, I love it! Anyway. Oh, that's me, right? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you hurt at all? Ahem. <clears throat> Gotta get a voice back. Uh. And thank goodness you're safe and sound. I was so worried when I heard you'd gone up to the roof. I didn't really think through when I just gave her a voice that I'm going to have to read that voice the entire time we're her. But I can't give them all my voice. It wouldn't be fun. Because it wouldn't be like, okay, we'll read her like me, and then when we're Makoto, Makoto will be me, and we'll give her her voice. Because that would kind of fuck everyone up, right? Yeah. Anyway. Worrying about me is utterly pointless. It is? Yes. I've used my powers to protect countless people already. Protecting a ship or two of this size is, tr is a trivial matter for me. <laughs> yeah, they call her the guardian of the nation for a reason, you know. Man, you got the cool powers, Kuga. Guardian? So the reason we're all still safe right now is because Makoto protected us? I think that's it. Oh, now I see. And thank you very much for protecting all of us, Makoto. Hmm. Nanami, that's her name. I was like, I know it starts with an N, but I couldn't remember. But like, anyway. Uh, well then. Is the second floor the only area that got hit hard? How's the rest of the ship? Oh, the shake can probably knock some things off the shelves, but that should be it. My room door. <laughs> okay. Oh, like, what is going on? What's going on here? Is that your powers coming through? Or you just have, like, tribal tattoos going on? It's kind of adorable. Okay. He's the lolly boy, and I don't normally dig the lolly boy, but we'll give him a chance, okay? Because we're the lolly girls. So, honestly, I'm actually kind of okay with the lolly boy in this situation, because look at her. We're the lolly girl. This works. I See... It's different when I'm supposed to be like, I'm pretending I'm me. They're me. I'm this character. I got three bitches I gotta be. I can't. 
Spacey 1, Spacey 2, and Spacey 3. She's Spacey Derp. I wish we could have renamed them. God, that would have been amazing. <laughs> that would have been fucking great. Give her a name. Spacey Derp. Anyway. I mean, he's like such a bastard, but he's kind of pretty. He's giving me that asshole vibe. Are you going to slam me against a wall? Are you going to be that guy? Because I'm okay with that. Anyway. Oh, don't hurt Lolly Boy. Stop glaring at him, muscles. Jesus. What? Is something wrong? N no, it's nothing. Never mind. Uh, right. I guess we better go check on everything, right? Who knows? Maybe something else beside the second floor got damaged. Did anybody report this to the world yet? Yes, it's been reported. Our orders are to address the situation internally. I gotta, like, get them better voices, because they all sound the same, but whatever. <laughs> Quit bugging us and go clean up your own damn mess, eh? Typical. Kuga, what's the same... Uh, what is the same situation as last time? Oh, was it the same? I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Brain! Let's not be dyslexic, Jesus. Kuga, was it the same situation as last time? Solar attacker, same guy. Yes, it was the same young-looking man. And this happened before? And then the ship really is under attack by somebody... Solo guy? <gasps> it's not Han Solo, is it? You didn't get your Star Wars in my Nor 9, did you? Because I don't know enough about Star Wars. Like, no offense. Um, I'm a Trekkie, okay? That's... I just... I like Star Trek better. I don't have a problem with Star Wars. I just never really got into it. Which is unfortunate, because there's, like, so many cool, like... Fancy things, you know what I mean? Like, cool things. You're like, that's so cool! I wish I liked Star Wars! Because that's awesome looking! But, like, I'd just be a poser. Because I'm just not... I don't know. Anyway. But Makoto protected us from that person. I, I'm i sure she must have done it by using her powers. She probably fucking ninja kicked him in the face. She just seems like the type. I wonder what her powers are. I forgot we read that in the thing somewhere, didn't we? The intruder is not an esper, am I right? As far as I can tell, he's not. He uses odd mechanical devices that I've not seen before, but I doubt he possesses powers like us. Understood. So... We're all out of imminent danger now, correct? Yes, we're safe for now. As long as I'm here, everyone is safe. Wow. Well, we're kind of full of ourselves, aren't we? <clears throat> That's good to hear. As our next task, I suggest we send a group to fix the second floor and another group to survey the rest of the ship for any other damage that was incurred. Our team will handle the cleanup. Hey, she, please take your team to assess the rest of the ship. Oh, and I think this should go without saying, but... And this is an emergency situation. You've been given orders. Do not deviate from them. Got it? Roger Wilco. Come on, guys. Let's get scouting. He's definitely the happy one of the bunch, isn't he? <gasps> that scares me. It makes me concerned. What are you hiding? Are you literally... Actually, I think I read the guy's actually legitimately... Wait, I think he's in Makoto's route. Wait, no. No, you can't possibly be. Wait, I forget who was in whose route. I forget. Uh, anyway. Um, because that would just be funny. That would be the fucking pairing of a century. Like, that's just great. I just can't wait for that. Aren't you coming? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Um, if you're not feeling well, I don't think you need to push yourself. No, I'm fine, really. Thank you for your concern. Uh, come, Suzuhara. Let's go together. Okay. Okay, let's head for the second floor, everybody. We have a lot of work to do. Everyone is being so calm and orderly. Aren't they scared at all? We just got attacked. Like, literally was over and done with pretty fucking fast. And maybe this has happened so often that they're all used to it. But that means that this is likely to happen again. Hi. Well, you're pretty. Anyway. I don't know what voice to give him. There's too many of these boys. And they've got too many of the tough guys that need the tough guy voice. And there's too many of the calm, cool guys that need the calm, cool guy voice. And there's too many of the like, say, I'm just acting normal. Like, I just, I don't, I don't have enough voices without giving them horrible fucking accents. And like, it was easier to do in London Detective Mysteria because they wrote the accent fucking in for me. And it was just easier to read it that way. But I feel really awkward just giving one an accent when they don't need one. I just, and I don't know him enough aside from pretty, then, like, and it's just, it's like the purple tips and the dark, I love it. Anyway, 
It appears that this area is still okay. Yes, the explosion jarred a few branches from the trees, but other than that, I cannot find anything else that's been damaged. Oh, that was... Oh, God, I wasn't looking at who it was. Oh, God, I didn't read him right. Anyway, fuck it. He's gonna have a deep... He's gonna have a more... Ah, oh, fuck. Anyway. Oh! No, uh -oh, that's not good. Ugh, what a refreshing breeze. This is not a laughing matter. Repairing something like this is beyond our capabilities. Makoto looked around at all the damage and let out a heavy sigh. Um, who is that standing beside Mr. Masamune again? I think it's, um, Mr. Itsuki Kagami? He must be a really tough person if he can still smile after seeing all this. Makoto, do you... Oh, did you have a barrier up around this area? A barrier? Yes, I did, though I'm uncertain of its integrity. There might have been a fault line in in it that was exploited. I should have checked. This is my fault. Hey, it's nobody's fault, Makoto. Don't beat yourself up, up over it. Uh, still, we can just leave... But we can't just leave it like this. What should we do? Hmm, I suppose I could whip up a temporary patch for it. I was literally just like, oh, you can make vines ha That's, that could be kinky. Oh, dear God, what the fuck is wrong with me? You know what, all the things, all the things are wrong with me. Sorry, anyway. Why are you acting so surprised? You already saw his powers when you first arrived. When we first, uh, so all those vines were his doing? You are joking, right? You must have put two and two together before now. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Suzuhara? Oh, I, now I get it. I understand what you all really are. You're all illusionists who use biochemical technology to perform your tricks. Biochemical? Oh, God, really? You throw out the big words and you think, like, the four-year-old brain over here is going to understand what you're talking about? Jesus. She's, like, the, literally the simpleton. Illusionists. At first, I'd hypothesized that I'd only tripped into those vines or was hallucinating due to fatigue. I never realized it was an illusion. Uh, no, it's not anything like that, Serata. And now you're trying to mess with me because you think I'm just a gullible little kid. Huh. Well, just so you know, I'm not. You can't fool me with your deception. I can see right through all of you. So how does the trick work, hmm? Is it magnets? I've read that magnetic fields can have an effect of some kind on some kinds of plant life. I'll promise you, I'll discover exactly how you did it and expose your deceptive con. Well, it's like, <laughs> they're not like trying to con you out of money. Why would they? <laughs> oh, I love this kid. Well, he is free to think what he wishes. Though I must say, being this thoroughly miscon uh, misconstrued is kind of charming. It makes me want to show him precisely how it works. I want to know what your powers are. Leave him be. Even if you try to explain, I'm sure whatever you said would just bounce off his thick skull. <laughs> oh god, you're funny! You're hilarious, kid. What an illusionist is. <laughs> He's over there accusing them of all these cons, and she's like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, dear God. I'm not sure if this is precious or going to get annoying real fast. I don't know. And now that we've had our fun, I get all the fallen trees back upright. If any of them look badly damaged, let me know. Oh, let's get to work. Oh, he's our little plant gardener boy. Anyway. Phew! I think we've cleaned up just about all the rocks and rubble. Yuhika's power is really amazing. It takes me a while to figure. I wish you would just fucking call him Kakeru. It's easier. Is it to control plants, right? Oh, it's to control plants, right? I was wondering where all those vines came from when Suzuhara and I first got on board. Now I have a craving for snap peas. Weird. <laughs> I wonder 
what's wrong with Makoto. She's been staring at the broken spot this whole time. Maybe she's looking for snap peas on the vines. Oh, dear God, Simpleton. She's looking at the hole because she's mad that her defenses got broken through. Ah, uh, there she goes. Hey, has anyone seen Senri? Mr. Senri? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Great. Where the heck did he run off to? Since Akito broke down the door to his room for me, he shouldn't be able to hide in there anymore, but... Man, he's hopeless. Um, Yuiga, your power is to manipulate plants and things, right? Hmm? Well, I don't really manipulate it. It's more like I have the power to create it. You create it? Yeah, I just visualize it in my head. Here, I'll imagine a wood sorrel. It's a small, pretty flower. What's your favorite color? Um, pink, I guess. This is where they give you a choice. Pink, red, blue. What did I say? Ah, fuck! <laughs> Get the, get the, get the op option, 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 option. Pink, I guess, like my hair and my eyes and everything about me. Oh, pink. I like that color, too. If I said, 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 said fucking orange, you'd have said the same damn thing. Stop it. Can't stand on my pants. Later. 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 You and me later. Okay, anyway, anyway. Uh, I think I like that color, too. Okay, then. One pink wood sorrel. Come right up. Right up. Why does a wood sorrel, because it sounds too much like squirrel, make me think he's going to make me an actual fucking squirrel? No. With that, Yuika closed his eyes and knelt down laying his hand on the ground. There was a quick flash of green light, and then a pretty pink flower burbled under his hand. There, see? I can make him make anything that I can imagine. Well, as long as it's a plant ant anyway. So you could imagine the Eiffel Tower made out of plants is what you're saying. Interesting. Wow! Oh my god, you can make us a fucking tree fort. That's literally out of plants, out of the tree. <gasps> cool, cool, cool. A little pink, f a pink flower set on what used to be a broken, barren patch of ground. Yuiga made it. So this is his power. Oh, what kind of power do you have? Oh, me? Um, my power isn't nearly this... Uh, sorry, if you don't want to say you don't have to. In fact, the only ones who've shown theirs are myself, Makoto, and Heishi. Uh, so don't feel like you have to tell me. We'll all be separated once we reach our destination anyway. Oh, we're going to be split up? Yes, into teams of four, and we'll be with our boys. Wait, is that what it's going to be? We're going to get split up. It's going to be like, no, I can't leave you, my love. And it's going to be like the ending as we get run away together or something. I mean, I anyway. uh, So we might as well just enjoy our time together while we can, eh? Um, uh, my powerful isn't nearly as wonderful and amazing as yours is. Wonderful, hmm? My power really isn't all that spectacular, you know. Yes, it is. You can make new plants grow out of nothing. I didn't think anyone could do something like that, except for, like, a gardener or someone who planted seeds. I mean, you don't have to take as much time to do it, but same thing. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna make him cry. I had heard that other people would have powers that were different from mine. It looks like some even have powers that can help people. I think it's a wonderful power. Hey, Kakeru, got a second? Yeah, what's up? A lot of the peaches in the orchard have fallen out of the trees. And I do mean a lot. Ah, oh, man. That's one thing I don't think I can do anything about. Yeah, I thought so. It's a waste, but I guess we'll have to toss them all. I think we should keep the ones that aren't too bruised. Maybe Akito can figure out something to do with them. Mr. Akito? Yeah, believe it or not, he's a really good cook. Of course. Yeah. The angry asshole is the good co Of course he is. Yeah, he is. What? That seemed weird to you, girly? He's gotta be all, what? Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's really nice of you to say. I'm actually really happy right now. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta get an attitude voice going. Uh, we'll, we'll practice. Hmm, what is it? We're gonna need bags to put all the peaches in. I think there were some in the dining hall. Oh, I'll get them. Hold it. I don't want to send you alone. I'll be fine. The dining hall isn't that far away. You sure? And that'd be really helpful of you. Of course. Hmm. Where would they be? Over there? Oh, darn. I can't find them anywhere. I guess I will need to ask for help after all. Hmm. What's this? Um... I've never seen a fish like this before. I wonder what it's called. It looks like it has spikes growing on it. It's a really bright color, too. It's a puffer fish. Don't touch it! 
Doesn't that fish scare you? Oh my gosh! Uh, Mr. Senri, you startled me! Uh, I, I actually talked to someone. Oh, what's wrong with me? Goodbye! <laughs> he's gonna be fun, because he's gonna have the ah, voice, and I can do that. The other ones are just too normal. Anyway, he probably tried to crawl back under the table where he'd been hiding before. Oh! Oh! Okay, I know I hate the lolly boys normally, but this is just kind of adorable. Wait! Oh, we're collecting all the peaches that haven't gone bad, but we need bags to put them in so we can give them to Mr. Akito. Huh. Peaches have fallen out of the trees in the orchard. You're collecting the good ones to give to Shikuri so he can cook them in some way. In order to collect them, you need a bag. To get the bag, you came here. Is that correct? Yes, that's exactly it. And the bags are here. Take which ones you want. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. A candy promptly slid into a shadow to hide. Um, Ichinose? Can you come upstairs with me? Yugi was looking for you too. Yuigo was looking for you too. I can't say his name right. Doesn't want to anyway. I won't want to. Why not? Why does it matter? It's none of your business anyway. But... Ex oh. Excepting a couple oddballs, no one here really cares much about anyone else. So hiding is most logical... Re is the most logical, reasonable course of action. After all, what if you ac actually became attached to someone? That would be bad. Oh! <laughs> Attached? Is that all? I think you should probably hurry and get back to Yuiga. Okay, thank you very much for showing me where the bags were. I can't. Wow. I just tripped all over that. Oh dear, I guess I'm still not very good at talking to people. What Mr. Senri said didn't make much sense to me at all. Being attached to people is bad? Oh, I should write these things down. <laughs> Illusionist? Logical? Attachments? Uh-oh, I've run out of pages in my notebook. There really are so many things I don't understand out here in the world. <laughs> oh, good lord. We, we picked a good voice for her. It's going to get annoying to do, but it's a good one for her. Cause, oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, for fuck's sake. You found them. Uh, good, thanks. Will these be big enough? Yeah, they should be fine. Oh, uh, by the way, you wouldn't have happened to spot Senri while you were down there, would you? I don't like that it only gives you three seconds! Oh, because you can't go to the back lock. Oh my god, you can't go back up and see the thing that you missed. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, I don't like the timer thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's too quick and it doesn't give you time to read this before you have to pick something and then you can't go back and look. Oh, I don't like that at all. All right, that's a big ass negative for this game right now if that's the way it's going to be. Like London Detective Mysterio had a timer but it was 60 seconds and it gave you time to quickly read this. But I didn't have fuck it was like 3 2 fuck I got to click. Like I no time to read. I don't even in my mind I can't was like Obviously he was like did you did you see him? And it was like the, oh, and I just, like, I can't even remember what the fuck was on there at all. It was like, tell him where he is, shit. Which I'm sure if we didn't tell him would give you more points for Senri. You know what I mean? Like, but you don't get, oh, no, I don't like this. I don't like this. That's not enough time to actually, like, read at all. That's kind of bullshit. Like, Fuck, yeah. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to complain about that the entire way through this game, and I'm going to bitch about it because I don't like it. We've only done it once, and I don't like it. And it's weird because... Well, we didn't have that in Serato. When we had a choice, we could sit there and look at it, and then this one, it's like three seconds choose, where you could have had the option of tell him or don't tell him. You know what I mean? Because I'm assuming if you... Do, if you if it times out, it would be like, oh, it doesn't, you don't tell him, and then whatever. You know what I mean? 
you get a different branch. But it could have given you two options instead of three fucking seconds! That's complete and utter bullshit. Three seconds is not enough to even process what the fuck is happening. Like, no. Mm -mm. So, big ass negative right now. Big ass fucking negative for this game. Like, that would... I'd be like, nope, wouldn't recommend just for that. <laughs> because that's so fucking annoying and that ruins... That ruins everything. You're like, I want to be able to read everything. And it's not like I can go back because now I can't even go back and, okay, this is what it said and this is what I, you know what I mean? Like, and that's douchey too. If you're only going to give me three seconds where I can't even read what's here before I have to fucking make a choice. And if you give me more than one, I'm like, I got to click something and I don't know what I'm clicking. Like, and then I can't go back and at least see what the fuck was happening. Yeah, because you can't even, like, go back and, like, okay, well, fuck, I chose the wrong... Let me go back and let me choose what I want to choose. Like, you have nothing. You can't physically, like, go fuck yourself. Like, if you're 20 minutes... Like, 30 minutes into the game, well, fuck you, now you gotta go back 30 minutes. That's irritating. Yeah, don't like that. I do not like that at all. Anyway. Yes, I saw him in the dining hall, uh, but he said he didn't want to come with me, so I just left him there. Uh -huh. So that's where he's hiding. Uh, great, I'll go nab him. Oops, I'm sorry, Mr. Senri. Yeah, well, it's okay. We didn't really have any time to decide because this game is a dickhole. So. Well, I guess that means we're the only ones left to pick up all those peaches. Uh, okay? Or maybe if you... Oh, God. Well, see, wait. Oh, dear God, wait a minute. So you had two choices. So now you told him... So you could have... Oh, we got points toward Kakeru, right? Because now he's like, eh, cool, you you told me. Where if you didn't say anything, you might have gotten maybe a little bit closer to Tsenri, right? But also now, because you said something, he goes running off. And now you're with Masamune. Where before, if you said nothing, you might have had a more opportunity to talk to Kakeru. Oh, Jesus! I don't even know. Fuck. You know what? what's going to happen? We're going to be on the fucking Masamune train and we're not even going to try. We're going to be trying not to. And we're going to be on that motherfucking spoiler plot train. Because he's usually toward the end of the middle group of spoilery people. So, trying not to get your boyfriend. So keep your hands to yourself. We're trying to get one of the other assholes. So I guess we probably should have thought of that and not told him. But again, I had three seconds to make a fucking decision. Which was either tell him or don't, and I... But see, this is why I don't like this. We're gonna make all the wrong fucking decisions because we don't have time to think about it, and I don't like that. Mm. Game, I'm very indecisive, you motherfucker. Anyway. Uh, nothing. So this is the orchard. It's fucking pretty, man. Oh, look at all those... Look at all the poor peach trees. Oh, and this one looks okay. Strange, my hand stings. Uh, right. Uh, the peach fuzz must have got you. It looks soft, but it's actually kind of sharp. Um, be careful, okay? I don't think peaches are actually really sharp like that. Is that that's weird? Here, let me handle it. Um, but won't it hurt your hands too? Yeah, but he's got man hands, not soft lady, soft delicate lady hands. I mean, you never know. We might have soft del delicate lady hands, but now nah, I've got these. Oh, I've got these. Hmm. Gloves? Do you get cold easily? Huh? Uh, no, not really. He's hiding his power from us. Mr. Masamune began picking up peaches one after the other. I hate how she calls them Mr. It's really kind of irritating. <laughs> like, it's super polite, but it's like also like you're 12 and I need you to stop. Like, I need you to stop. It was kind of irritating. It's like an Oz Mafia when she was always calling them Mr. or whatever. And you're like, I'm going to punch you. She's less annoying, though. Like, she's adorable and derpy. And it's kind of like, she's probably going to get on my nerves. But she's been okay so far. So I'll forgive her. But the MC in fucking Oz Mafia was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, Jesus, nothing is, no one has ever been worse than that. And unfortunately, we can't play that game because the developers just don't want people to play it. Eh, but eh, it's just, it's kind of actually hurting you if you think about it. Because, you know, if people see a game like, oh my god, this game looks really good. And you've watched like an hour or so, you're like, I want to play this. I'm not going to watch the playthrough. I'm going to go buy it. I'm going to play the game and experience it. And then I'll watch a playthrough. But like, 
Especially when you're charging a lot of money for a game. If it's like, oh, it's a five buck game, okay, I'll buy it. And oh no, it sucks, okay, whatever. But it's like a $40 game, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know how much it is anymore because I literally was like, I will never finish playing this now. It goes into my, just buried away because I can't do a let's play. And I had recorded like 40 parts. I'm like, maybe someday when I'm really bored sitting around. No, I'm going to be playing these games for you guys if I have time, not playing ones that like, I pay more attention to them when I do this because I have to read them out loud. I mean, I guess I could read the normal games out loud, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway. I couldn't do much else, so I just trotted behind him, holding the bag so we could drop the good peaches inside. Uh, listen, I want to apologize for something. What I did yesterday was completely uncalled for. Uh, sorry about that. Is something uncalled for? Yeah, I was rude when I asked you who you were. Oh, dear God, we're getting points with him, aren't we? Oh, bad choice, Spacey, bad choice. Who are you? That's not something to ask a lady point blank like that. Uh, because of that, everybody started grilling you. We have a rule, no prying into anyone's past, powers, or personal lives. I broke that rule and put you in an uncomfortable situation. The rules? It's all right. I don't mind at all. You don't have to apologize for anything. Uh, well, uh, even though we're all only on this trip because the world order it, ordered it, I hope we can still be friends. Of course. <laughs> What's a friend? She's like a fucking robot. The world again. It was the world that gathered us all together on this ship, I think. It's something big, powerful, something that must be obeyed. I may have lived all by myself for my whole life, but even I can understand that much. At least I kind of understand. The will of the many made one, omniscient. All these things make it really hard for me to totally understand it. I wonder if any of the others here know more about the world. Maybe I should ask them sometime. Is that... Who's going... Is that me? I don't know. Oh, no, it was not me. Okay. I See, I don't like that. There's question marks, and then she's a... Qu like, could we just have, like, Miss Weirdo, like, instead of question marks? Where's all that groaning coming from? <laughs> Sorry to keep you two waiting. Oh. You... You ratted me out. Rat? Don't blame her for this. I mean, look at yourself. Kikaru literally had to drag your body out here. Everybody needs to get a little sunlight every now and again, don't you think? Ugh. I hate your stupid smile. Hate! <laughs> kind of love this fucking kid. It's like the first time I've ever been like, you know what, the lolly boy ain't so bad. Like, like, I just... Oh, he's amusing. He amuses me. Because you know what? Usually the lolly boy is like the complete and utter psycho. And, okay, here's the weird part. Yuki Kaji is not voicing the lolly boy. Because that's usually what happens. So, it's a little odd. But you know what I mean? They're usually like, fucking assholes. Like, or super cute. Way too cutesy. Like, oh my god, I'm super cutesy. Like, super lolly or like, psycho lolly. And he is just like awkward robot Lolly. And then, you know what? That's a thing I haven't seen, and I might be okay with it. Lolly's not my favorite ever. Not my favorite trope, right? But I enjoy this kid. Anyway, I brought some extra pegs and gloves. Now let's leave the cleanup over there to Sequoia's crew and just concentrate on finishing up over here. Phew! I think that should do it. Okay, everyone, let's take a break. How about we eat some peaches? Fuck peaches. No, I'm just kidding. Tired. So tired. The back-breaking labor. I'm so tired I could die. Uh, just ignore the martyr, guys. Uh, let's pick out a dozen of the best peaches. Here, Yuiga. These 12 look pr really pretty. <laughs> Thanks. And now we need to wash them off. So we're gonna eat them now? Yep. We'll get everybody together and take a quick break. Ugh. I'm too tired to move another step. I can't make it down any stairs. We don't have to go downstairs. We can wash them off over here. Here, see? You carefully wipe off all the dirt and the stuff that's stuck on them. Ta-da! Now these are ready to eat. Oh, 
okay. Eep. Of course, what'd you do? Fall in the fucking water. Whoa, careful there. Are you okay? E yes, thank you. Uh, be careful. Oh, ahem. Uh, be careful you don't fall. And uh, there's a spring down there, so I doubt you'd die. But I have no clue what kind of fish are in that thing. I think it's cool and refreshing. What's that, Senri? You want me to dump you in a deep sea trench so you can be shark food? If my other option is work, I'll take being a fish any day. I'll wrap the peaches underwater until all the fuzz comes off. And then you can eat them, peel and all. I have to write that down later so I remember. Oh, that's right. I used up all the blank paper in my notebook already. There's so many things I don't know that I already filled it up completely. Hmm, oh, what's wrong? It's nothing. I was just thinking how there are so many things that I don't know. It's going to be really hard trying to remember them all. I've been looking forward to being on this ship for a long, long time. I made sure to read books and study so I'd know how to talk to people correctly. Fuck it. Oh. Oh, she's an idiot robot. Oh, God. It's adorable. Oh, it's going to get irritating probably, but right now it's adorable. Ever since that day that traveler gave me this outfit and told me someone would come for me when I could wear it, I have been waiting. You mean you've known that this ship was going to come for you years and years ago? Yes, the Traveler told me all about it. The mystery of the Traveler. What's that supposed to mean? Senri, remember the rules. But and there's so much that I don't know yet, so I'm having lots and lots of trouble understanding everything you all say to me. It's like you're speaking Japanese and I only speak English. Wait, that's how I feel. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up. I wonder if everyone will even want a peach. Will Suzuhara and Makoto and Nanami and everyone be happy if I gave them one? I have to make sure these peaches are washed until they're super duper clean. Like nobody heard your inner monologue. Ah! I then learned that super clean peaches are also super slippery. One popped right out of my hand. Oh no, the peach! Oh, they both grab me. All three. Whoa! Wow. I didn't realize that all of them wanted to be fish, too. Oh, God. He's going to jump in. Is that... Does that look like a mermaid tail? Does he have, like, water powers? <laughs> he's a little merman. That's fucking adorable. That's why he doesn't like people and he likes being in the water. Oh, you turned into a little fish boy. That's so cute. <coughs> Are you okay? Anything hurt here, grab onto me. Thank you. Ah, feels so good. Senri, did you jump in on purpose? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, the peach! When I looked down, the peach was right there in my hand. I can't remember what happened too clearly, but I think I caught it while I was falling. It was so squeaky clean, it looked like it sparkled. I thought it was really pretty. Here we go. What about this one? Is it clean enough to eat? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because it's hilarious. Look at how high we fell. Falling from that height should be freaking terrifying, right? But she just didn't want to let go of a stupid peach. And how all she's worried about it is if it's edible. That's so... So... <laughs> I guess she's very serious about her food. Now that's some considerable bravery, yeah. Hey, since we're all soaked already, how about a swim? Wait, do you know how to swim? N no, I don't. Okay, I'll teach you. I'll teach you everything you want to know. If there's anything you don't understand about anything, ask me. I'll help you out and stay with you until you get it. Iwiga. Yeah, trust in your elders. We're here to, ha we're here to help you. Thank you. Has it been since I've talked to people this much? I remember reading fairy tales about a prince and a princess being together and having fun, but I never thought that I'd have this much fun too. Oh. Hmm. What is it? I, I think I can almost remember my name. Really? Yes. My name is. Um. <gasps> we 
can change her name! Oh, I love this! She's spacey, motherfucker! Yes! That's why she couldn't remember her name! But we can't change Makoto or anybody else's name. But it's okay! We get a spacey! Should we have just left her name? We probably should have just left her name. Yes! So that's your name. Huh? <laughs> yes! Oh, thank you, Jesus! It's really hard to play a game and not have a spacey character. And she acts spacey, and I'm not sure I necessarily want her to be the only spacey. I really would like the other two to be spacey, but we can't change their names. It's unfortunate. I wish we could have, but when we're Makoto, we'll just be Makoto. When we're Nanami, we'll be Nanami, and she will always be spacey now. We'll be like, spacey, that girl's fucking nuts. Yay! Ah! <gasps> oh, vindicated! I probably should have just left her name because... You know, we're not always going to be here. We're only going to be here three out of the nine times. But still, I feel better. <laughs> like, anyway. Yes, my name is Spacey. It was given to me by the Traveler. I mean, it fits her, doesn't it? Because she's really... I should have changed her name. You know what? Can we go back? Her name is Derpy. Her name is fucking Derpy because that's what she is. But it's okay. He gave it to you? Uh, so it's not your real name then? What about your last name? I don't think he gave me a last name. I don't know my real name. And this is the only one I remember having. Uh, I doubt that matters. What does matter is that we can finally call you by name. Yeah, it feels rude to say, hey, you all the time. Thank you. Spacey. You said you were waiting for years, right? Uh, just waiting and waiting for the ship. Um, but, you know, I think you were really waiting for your friends to come along. A friends who would call you by name. Spacey. It's almost you wish. There's no way they could ever have the character say your name. But you just want... I'm just pretending. Because, you know, it's call you by your name. And then they don't say it. Because you can change it. Friends? Uh, to be totally honest, none of us are all that close right now, I bet. But I'm sure we'll find our chances to get to know each other better. Are you flirting with me again? Oh. So relax, okay? What you were waiting for so long... What you were waiting for for so long is here. <laughs> That's... That is like... That is one of the greatest and worst pickup lines. Like, what you've been waiting for for so long is right here. I mean... Okay, but... Wow. <laughs> Dangerous levels of cheesiness. For fucking real. Senri and I are on the same page. First, I think Senri and I are about to get to know each other really well. That sounds dirtier than you think it does when you're in my brain. Me! Oi! What do you slackers think you're doing? Get to work, you lazy bastards! Oi! What do you slackers think you're doing? Get to work, you lazy bastards! He should have the fun, like, accent. He's gonna have the fun accent, because I feel like it'd be fun, more fun to yell in a weird English-Irish bastardization of whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, we're gonna give that to Akito. I think we're gonna do it. Because it just... That just... Didn't that sound more fun? Right? That... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Plus, he doesn't look like he'd have that accent! <sighs> Are you finished changing yet? Yes. Thank you, Nanami. Apparently, there are a lot of changes of clothes on this ship. <laughs> That's good to know. I went with Yuiga and the others and we picked a whole lot of peaches. I made sure to wash them until they were all totally clean so anybody could eat them. Do you like peaches? Um, maybe she hates them. Oh, right. My name. I should tell her that I remembered my name. Nanami, guess what? I, I need to go. Oh, um, okay. She's just as bitchy as Makoto. I don't know, like, the voice. Anyway. Everyone's here. All right. Yuika said we were going to take a break together. <clears throat> but where's Suzuhara? Did she just literally fall? <laughs> so we're going to give him the accent, so we got to do it. We'll see how it works. Anyway. Hey, you shut your trap, pretty boy. This isn't the time to be making jokes like that. 
It didn't come out that well, but it's okay. We'll work on it. I'm being quite serious, I assure you. So what proof you got, huh? Where's your evidence? <laughs> it's just funny, so we're gonna just probably keep doing... I'm afraid I don't have any. That's enough, you two. Cool it. Oh, my. What's going on? You're kind of already acting like it's a definite thing that there is someone. This could all still just be an accident. No, Otomaru. This was not an accident. There's a conspirator among us. I'm absolutely certain of this. It's probably you. A conspirator? Makoto, would you mind going over your conclusions again? Those who weren't present could use an update to alleviate confusion. Some of them actually have voices and the rest of them are just kind of like, they are what they are, but... All right. So far, this ship has been attacked three times. On two of those occasions, I saw the attacker with my own eyes. He's a young man who appears to be of similar age as us. Ooh! I wi- Oh! I know who it is! Because he's the only one we haven't met yet! He is. I was like, oh, it should be one of our boyfriendos. It is. It's got to be. It's got to be Ron, because he's the only one that's not here, right? But they mentioned him, didn't they? Hmm. I thought they did. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. He was present during the most recent attack. I don't know if he's working alone, but to this point, he's the only one I've seen. To this point, I've managed to rebuff the assaults using my barriers and the ones that I've deployed on this ship. Ah, yes. I am certain some of you already know this by now, but allow me to explain my powers. I can create barriers of any size and shape I wish, wherever I wish. These barriers can repel any and all attacks. You can block attacks? Basically, she's very good at protecting things. Whatever she wants to protect, nobody can harm, ever. Oh, I see. So that's how she was able to protect the ship before. She used her powers. Thank you, Mr. Senri. I understand now. I've already set a barrier around this ship. I will admit that I have never had to enclose an object this big before, so the barrier across the roof is thinner than I would like. Putting it another way, so long as the roof is defended, no attack can touch us. However, this latest assault opened that large hole on the second floor, despite a barrier already being deployed in the area. Oh, well, we, can't, we can't say what kind of attack it was. None of us witnessed it. Are you certain there were no flaws in the barrier on the second floor? Yes. Aside from the previously mentioned area on the roof, the entire barrier is solid. Then how... The attack came from inside the ship. Okay, okay. Are you sure we can definitely say that? Because that means you're implying that one of us, right here right now, is a traitor. It's you, you're suspicious. Oh no, see, here you go. This is... That, okay. See, we never met Ron before, and here's Ron. Okay. There you go. Oh! I know this person! You even told me his name before! Mr... Oh, okay. Mr. Heishi Otomaru! And the one with sunglasses is Ron... Muraboshi? Muraboshi. Okay, yeah. Mr. Ron stepped up alongside Otomaru and started talking. It's really confusing when some people call them by their first names and some people call them by their last names. Her. Um, because I get confused, like, I'm, it, it's hard enough to figure out who's who. Like, I get used to some of them, but I'm like, I can't quite remember all the names. And then she calls them by their last names, and I'm like, fucking A! That's too many names to remember. I don't need 18 names to fucking remember, okay? Nine is enough. Ron. Well, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but looking at the evidence, it seems like it's gotta be an inside job, you know? You saw it jacked up the wall was right, uh, but there wasn't much rubble and stuff inside. The only way that makes any sense to me is if you figured the explosion or whatever went off inside and just blew all that junk out. Ha! Huh. Where'd you get that idea? Whatever the case, we need a plan now that we know this is a possi- now that we know this is a possibility. Really? Masamuna, you're siding with him! You seem the most suspicious! <laughs> this is me. Spacey. For real. This one. Not her. This one. TRUST NO ONE! Look, I learned a lot from watching the X-Files. I'm not saying there's a traitor or not, but we can't say for certain there isn't. So as long as the possibility of there being one exists, we can't just sit and do nothing. A traitor? So, 
Maybe one of the people here right now was the one that put that really big hole in the ship? But why would someone here do that? Considering the damage done, I would say the traitor is likely connected to our attacker or has offensive powers. Offensive powers? See, that's what I've been saying. This has all been a setup from the beginning. What do you mean? The world sent this ship for us, right? You got. You've seen how huge it is, but there are only nine guest rooms. And that's it. And there's 12 people, though. It's really weird. There's nine guest rooms, but there's 12. Because there's nine boys and three girls. Not counting Serata, because he was accidental. But you know what I mean? The world! And that's the big, important thing that brought us all together. Our duty is given to us by the world is to use our powers for peace and never anything more. But why only nine rooms? And that's why I've started thinking maybe there are actually only supposed to be nine of us on this ship in the first place. That's just a guess. <laughs> I can't believe we gave him an accent, but here we are. I don't think so. Just like a hotel with 100 rooms is meant for 100 guests, or 200 because they're usually double occupancy. And this isn't a ship. Isn't this ship only meant for nine people because it has nine rooms? Or double occupancy. So, three of us aren't supposed to be on the ship? Probably the girls. Right. We already know one, of course, the little one. Uh, but the other two. Wait. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No. Your math is off. It's Suki! Uh, but if that's the case, why isn't the world doing anything about this? It dragged us all on this ship, and now it's just going to ignore us? Oh, Toya, you can communicate with the world, right? Has it said anything about this at all? No, not a thing. I've asked it a dozen times about the number of passengers we're supposed to have, but I've never gotten an answer. What? Shh! I don't give a rat's ass about us. I could have told you that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just funny because it's so awkward, but I hope it doesn't bother you. I hope you find it as amusing as I do. Anyway. Hell, I bet you they're hoping they can get rid of us since we've ruined their precious balance of peace crap. Th that's nuts. The world's sole purpose is to protect the peace. Why would it do something like that? Well, wait, could it be that this ship was not... Could the ship was not be sent by the world? Not sent by the world. Okay, sorry. Whoa, cooler right there. Doubting the will of the world is a crime, you know. Well, that's enough talk of theories and suspicions. Right now, we need a plan. Hey, we got... Uh, for the moment, let's work under the assumption that we have a traitor among us. If we can't do at least that, we won't get anywhere. Also, remember there could be more than one. Our best plan of action is uh, to just get everything out in front of everyone, I guess. What do you mean by that? We set up a policy right when we first got here, right? And no prying into people's pasts or, or, and powers. Well, I say now we ditch that. Everybody has to come clean on where they're from, what their powers are, everything. Well, it's a good thing I just remembered what my name is! <laughs> True. If we knew what powers everyone has, it would at least narrow down our list of potential suspects, don't you think? Oh, no! What would they do if they found out what my powers are? Mm, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, one of them we haven't met yet. Hmm... Those are sub-characters. Hold on. We know Heishi. We know Ron. We know Akito. We know Itsuki. 
and Sukui is the one guy. Aha! Ah, okay, wait a minute. No, I was wrong. Like, yeah, okay, the Daisuke Ono character I don't think has come up yet. So he's the guy, because it's like, there's nine people and three people don't belong. And I'm like, you mean four? Because he's going to be the one that's out there. Oh, fun, fun. Okay, cool. Would they think I'm the bad guy? I, I don't know what to do. I honestly thought the one guy, because I don't remember what the characters look like. I refuse. I'm not discussing my powers. Why? Personally, I think it's a pretty good, solid plan. No, it isn't anywhere close to good. I'm not a traitor, and I will not tell you what my powers are. If you think all of us have powers we can make public with no consequences, you're dead wrong. I wonder what her powers are. Oh, come on. Why be so defensive about it? It is really... Is it a, re a really embarrassing power or something? Ugh, whatever. Kikero, that plan sucks. Oh, oh, that was Akito. I didn't see the switch. Ugh, whatever. Kikero, that plan sucks. Come up with something else. Okay, okay. I do have another idea. But I think it's... This is literally the only other option. We split up into pairs and keep watch on each other to make sure nobody pulls anything funny. Pairs? What's the logic behind that? Why not groups of three or four? Oh, we've been split up into teams of four from the beginning, right? Obviously that wasn't enough to stop the last attack. So we have to break it down more, into pairs. That's a good point. It does look like that's our best option right now. Let's put it to a vote. All who are opposed, raise your hand. Hold on a second. We might have to choose... Who... Um... If we have to choose... Fuck. Well, we know Masamune's, like, toward the end. Greatest content, right, spoiler-wise, Itsuki and Masamune are toward the end. Aki Akito, Ron, and Natsuhiko, who I'm sure is the guy outside. Um... Those are always the last three in that order. But then most of that, most of the other two, the least spoiler to greatest, Masamune and, Itsu and Itsuki are switched. But it's them. So I don't want to do Masamune. But I'm just thinking if we get the point of like, who do we want to choose out of our people? We're only going to get probably the option to choose Senri, Kakeru, or Masamune. And according to this, Senri has the least spoiler content. So maybe we should try to go that way. I mean, we'll see what happens, but... Um, yeah, I thought when Sakuya showed up, I thought he was the Daisuke Ono character, but he's not. Um... Natsuhiko, who is, um... The character. And so he must be the guy that's out there. I'm not going to read too much down into it. I just know that he's in Makoto's target group. Um... So, ooh! That's interesting. Again, because it was really when he started throwing out the, like, you know... There's three people don't have rooms. Um, wait a minute. There's nine guys and three girls. That's 12. And and then the kid, that's four, like, so, yeah. And then I was like, wait a minute. Because I, I had it wrong. I had it wrong. Anyway. Oh, God. Only two people raised their hands. Mr. Senri and Nanami. Maybe could looked at both of them for a second, but he didn't see anything. Well, the eyes have it. We'll go with Kakeru's plan, so how should we pair off? Hmm, good question. How about we let the girls decide who they're pairing up with first? Fuck, I'm gonna have like three seconds. I think we should go with Senri because I think that's the least spoilery content. Um, so I think we should do that. Actually, technically, Heishi is the least spoilery content, so I'm assuming we would probably kind of have gotten to this and we'd probably still have this scene. Maybe? Because I'm assuming the plot is gonna be mostly the same. Obviously, you know what I mean? Like, we're still going to get to this point. You know, we'll still have this conversation. We'll just be a different girl. Um, 
having to choose. It's going to be really weird. There's going to be a lot of... This game's going to be a long-ass fucking time. Cause there's going to be a lot of reading. There's not going to be a lot of skipping. There'll be a lot of skipping if it's her, probably. But, like, I don't know how it's going to work. But, in that case, we'll... We'll use the guide, and we'll go, and we'll do the Heishi route next. Because that's technically the least spoilery, then Senri. But we're already in her, so, anyway. However, girls can't pair up with girls. And why not? Isn't it obvious? Because two ladies can't have kids together. And neither can do guys, for that matter. Um, yeah, but some of the guys are going to be paired up. Interesting. Should I sew those lips of yours together permanently now? Is he in her route? Because that would just be fucking... He is. <laughs> I'm going to like hers. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's him and Sequoia. And then the other guy who's off the ship, who is the Dice Gaono character, who's not here yet. Anyway. I mean, <clears throat> yikes. And there are some logical advantages to pairing up guy-girl. If there's another attack, there will definitely be a guy nearby to protect the girl. I don't think Makoto needs you to protect her. That is very true. Also, it's highly likely your infiltrator is male. Huh? Why do you say that? Uh, well, that's mostly my own personal intuition, so I'd rather not get into detail. Hey, you've already said this much. You might as well split uh, spit the rest of it out. We need to end up anyway. Oh, right. He's the, <laughs> he's the accent one. For the love of God, no! I've heard way too many hunches today. If anybody says something, it better be a hundred percent solid fact, or I'm gonna lose it. Unless you can prove it, shut it. And that's exactly what I intended. And since there's a possibility we have multiple infiltrators, we need to have at least one girl keeping an eye on the guys. Huh. So the girls will be watching us, eh? Cool. It almost sounds like you're setting them out as bait to draw the perp out. I'm not really. We'll leave the teams and the chore rotation the same and set up what night patrols we can, okay? Well, what we need to do right now is to stick close to each other and stay alert, I'm making it hard for the traitor to act. Now, who's choosing who? Who do I want to pair with? One of the people here could be friends with the bad guy who attacked the ship. And that scares me a whole lot, but what's worse is this makes me really anxious, too. Maybe everyone will start thinking I'm the one who made that big hole in the ship. If they figure out what my power is... If they find out how terrible and scary it is, then maybe they'll start to think that the bad guy is me. You said you were waiting for years, right? Just waiting and waiting for the ship. But you know, I think you were really waiting for your friends to come along. Friends who would call you by name, Spacey. So relax, okay? What you were waiting for for so long is here. <laughs> so glad we got a recap of that line. was a heavy, solid weight in my hands. The peach, maybe because of how warm my fingers are, its pretty pink color has started turning brown. Uh, but what if it's you just right? Someone will come to get you. Then on that day, you'll be released from your loneliness. Oh! Kikeru is a kind, intelligent young man with a strategic mind and a knack for getting what he wants. Some think he's hiding something. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, nice! Okay, he is locked. That's perfect! A pessimist and shut in, he has trouble dealing with people due to being mistreated by adults in the past. <sighs> um. Oh, what's this? Isn't it? Okay, hold on. We recommend playing the stories in the following order. Oh, interesting! Uh, I recommend nine different stories. For the best experience, we recommend playing the stories. Koharu, Kikeru and Senri, then Sequoia, then Heishi, Heishi. We believe that playing these stories first will get the player much fuller enjoyment of the rest of the game. That's interesting. I mean, because the guide. Okay, so we could do either one in her route. And actually, according to the guide, Heishi, Senri, Sukuya, and Kikeru 
yeah, Kikeru has a little bit more spoiler than Heishi, Senri, and Sukuya. And that's kind of, okay, so I guess, I think we'll do it, since we're in her route, I think we should do Senri first, even though I really want to do Kikeru first. I really do. Especially after that, some people think he's hiding stuff. I want to know now! But I think we should do least spoilery content, so I think we should do Senri first. And then we can either do Sukuya or Heishi, and then we can do Kikeru. So that's kind of what the, uh, hmm. I don't know. The second option from least spoiler with the greatest enjoyable pace is to do Kikeru for, you know what? Fuck it. The most enjoyable pace. Let's go for that. Let's do him first, and then we'll go to Heishi, and then we'll do Senri. And then we'll do Sukuya, and then we go on to the spoilery boys. Yeah. All right. All right. That's what we're doing. I really wanted to go the Senri route first. Okay. So that's cool. So it's it recommended either one of them. Okay. I just like something. He's hiding something. Woo! Well. All right. Um. Are you okay with the pairs being? S I guess so. Woo! Okay. Well, we are where we are, and we fuck now, buddies. Um, so, that's kind of interesting. We picked our pair. That's our pair. And now I just don't really know if there's bad endings or anything like that. So, anyway, we'll figure that out. But um, I will, I'm going to wrap this up here. It's a perfect stop. So, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more!